The Optex Bridge powered by Checked is a video interface module for your existing and new alarm panel installations. The bridge is available in a 4 and 12 channel model. In this video, we'll connect the bridge to a panel, integrating live video monitoring and video alarm verification. Using these wiring and programming steps, the bridge will follow the armed and disarmed state of the panel and will create video alarm events from any alarm zone sensor of the panel. Before wiring, remove all power sources so the alarm panel and video bridge are powered off while establishing the connected points. Connecting the bridge to a local area network allows for communication with cameras and the checked cloud. The bridge will obtain an IP address using DHCP. A static IP address can be assigned, but that process is not covered in this video. Once connected and registered in your checked dealer portal, the bridge can authenticate to IP cameras directly, as shown in Method 1, or authenticate through a supported NVR or VMS platform and pull video channels as shown in Method 2. The bridge and your cameras should never be port forwarded, as it is not required for the checked solution to operate. The bridge requires 12 volts and about 400 milliamps of power. So powering a bridge from the auxiliary power of the panel is the simplest method. However, if your panel does not have enough amperage or you are using multiple bridges for a site, then a separate 12 volt power supply is needed for powering the bridge. When using a separate 12 volt power supply, the bridge needs to share a common ground with the panel's 12 volt auxiliary power ground. This is done by running a single wire from the negative ground terminal of the panel to the power ground connection on the bridge. Once complete, the bridge has power and shares a common ground with the alarm panel. With the power wiring completed, the next step is to connect an output from the panel to the arming pin on the bridge. With your arming pin and power connections established, the next step is to wire your alarm zone triggers into the bridge. The wiring method for this is simple. However, it's very important to note which alarm panel zone number is wired to trigger which digital input of the bridge. The trigger wire is connected under the zone terminal as shown here, and then connected to an associated digital input and video channel on the bridge. Once cameras are added, the trigger wire will create a video alarm on the video channel associated with the digital input. Each of the bridge digital inputs are internally associated with a video channel. For example, digital input 1 is associated with video channel 1, digital input 2 is associated with video channel 2, and so on. By using a notepad or the checked bridge wiring information sheet, Document the alarm panel zone you are wiring into which digital input. This information will be needed when you begin adding video to the bridge. For each alarm panel zone connected to the bridge, you will connect a trigger wire from that alarm panel zone to a unique digital input of the bridge. Then on your wiring information sheet, you will notate which alarm panel zones you have connected to which inputs of the bridge. With power, arming, and the alarm zone trigger wiring completed, your wiring is completed. You can now power up the alarm panel and bridge. Now, in the checked dealer portal, we will program the bridge to follow the armed and disarmed condition of the panel. First, you need to register the bridge to an existing site. Select Add Bridge, then enter the bridge MAC and entry key. With the bridge powered on, and connected to a network, the checked cloud will ensure the bridge has the latest firmware. When pairing a bridge to an alarm panel, alarm panel pairing will be your arming method. The bridge can be armed with any low to high or high to low voltage change, ranging from zero through 12 volts. The checked dealer portal has a web-based voltmeter, allowing you to see the voltage value in real time. Next, you will set the low and high voltage range of the bridge digital alarm inputs by selecting presets. These presets have a low range and a high range. These ranges will define the normal and alarm conditions of the bridge digital alarm inputs. The last step of programming is adding cameras. When associating a camera to a specific alarm zone sensor, 
it's essential that the camera can see the full detection area of the sensor. Doing so will ensure operators can see what caused the alarm activation. To begin adding cameras, refer to your notes for the trigger wiring done in step four. In this example, we wired the alarm panel zone six into the bridge digital input one. To add a camera to this input, select add camera, then channel one for digital input one. The bridge will discover cameras and compatible recorders on the network. Locate the correct device for the zone and authenticate to the device. The portal allows you to review the camera's field of view. Next, you're prompted to enter a name and the alarm panel zone number. The name should match the alarm panel zone description and the zone number should match the alarm panel zone number. Six in this case, because the trigger wire is on zone six of the alarm panel and triggering input one of the bridge. Next, you are prompted to set the zone type. Select the zone type that matches the zone characteristics of the alarm panel zone. Your alarm trigger source will be either normally closed or normally open, since we are triggering the video event from an alarm panel zone. In some setups, the trigger source could be the video analytics of the camera and not from an alarm zone trigger. However, that is reviewed in another video tutorial it's recommended that you review your digital input voltage values. When you do so, you'll see a real-time voltmeter for this input. You can test the sensor and see the voltmeter move from normal to alarm. Once you've confirmed these settings, lastly, press Next, and you have completed the pairing of a camera to the alarm zone trigger. Continue adding cameras for all remaining zone triggers. It's helpful to know that even when you are not triggering one of the bridge digital inputs, you can still add cameras to unused video channels. When you do so, these cameras will become additional live video streams for the alarm responding operator. If you need additional technical information about check and setup guides, visit our support site at support.checked.com.